Hello everyone, Zinazuma here. Where are Welcome we back. Again? Some place near the canteen, they said, but uh where was that? Figures. You're staring at us. Let's try to put it out of our minds, Senna. Welcome back to Let's Play. Let's see what you played. Chronicles 3. Last time, we dealt with console. This time, well, I don't know. Ah, oh, there you are. Sorry, you're? I'm Solon. Procurement Division, Colony 4. Go orders from the commander to say you're with a tent you can use during your stay here. So make yourselves at home. Thanks a lot. Commander told me something else as well. That you guys helped out everyone here in the colony. And we all owe you a lot. I'm afraid I won't have time to attend you personally. But if there's anything you need while you're here, just let us know. Okay? Well, I'll leave you to it. Water reception. Someone seemed like a nice person. Maybe we should go in and rest. Cool. Uh, I think I like to take a bath first, actually. Hey, you need love. If you head to the bath. You, you call me love? That makes me feel weird. Let's just let's take a plain old uni, okay? The console we fought back there. Uh huh. Oddly, he was strikingly similar to our own console. Both sides are going to have consoles. Why is that odd? More accurately, not just similar. They're the same. They're the same? Are they really? Our colonies regard each other as enemies. But if the consoles giving the orders are the same, it means... It means? Hmm. Come on. Just spit it out, man. A console's such a big deal. I thought they were everywhere, like your run of the mill knock on. Riku refused to let Remark of Uni slide. Got that right? Knock on a rare species world cannot live without. Protect at all cost. Uh, leaving knock on out of this. What's this mean? That these guys are mega suspicious? Yes. I suspect they may be more deeply involved than we thought. Involved how, though? With what? With the reason why we fight. With deciding our fate. Our fate? And the Queens? You think they're in cahoots? What can you tell us about your Queen? I think we've only laid eyes on her once. Right? Yeah. At the homecoming, I think. She had long, silver hair. Yep, real dignified. Proper pretty wings, too. Wings? Like yours, Uni. Sort of, but they were much more of a shining white. Well, as for our queen, she was really elegant. Refined and graceful. 
And her ears? They were super long. Up to here. Hmm. Guess that means our queens are different folks, all right? The consuls are kind of like the queen's servants, right? The castles. Their role is to convey the queen's directives to the colonies, along with handling admin and decision-making. So what? If we explain the deal to the queen, you think she might actually get the picture? Yeah? Pretty much. I don't recommend getting your hopes up. Oh, yeah? The queens sit at the very pinnacle of the hierarchy. So you think they won't even give us the time of day, huh? I'm saying they might be the same as the consuls, our enemy. What? Also, somehow that consul, he became Mobius. Or maybe... Mobius is the consuls. The situation's already dire enough. It'd be best to temper our expectations. Uroboros has no place in this world. Their existence must be erased without a trace. It's vital to keep a record of events. We've endured the fierce fighting at Colony 4. And learned that the Consuls and Mobius are one and the same. Truths we took for granted continue to crumble at our feet. We have spent so long blindly walking the path set before us without question. But we are more curious now of our future selves. Of our purpose. So, split into three units, our main troops go wide, and first to make contact with Draws? What are you, a coward? What was that? Huh? I asked you what you said. You think I'm scared, is that it? I'll have you know, my plan is textbook. Drop it, Tyon. Let go! Colony 13 is a complete enigma. Our data is incomplete. It's just way too cautious, you clod. It's tedious, and it's dull. Can you see that? If we don't eat now, we'll starve. We don't have the time to mess around! What does... Look, Taiki boy. I mean, we're Iron Lambda, yeah? The colony led by Commander Isard. And this is some no-name backwater. We hit from the side, and we hit hard. Am I wrong? <sighs> What we need is momentum. Gotta play hard to win big!
Right, I see. One team draws the sentries away, then the main force can strike en masse, where the flank will be left loosely defended. Seems optimal. Is that right, Tyon? Huh? Yes. Correct. <sighs> All right. If that's your opinion, we'll approve it. Yes, Ezerd? Yes. If you say it'll work, I trust you. Happy, Tyon? Y yes Commander, strategist. It's almost time. The new console should be arriving from the castle soon. Of course. On my way. My, that time already. Nimue, why are you still using that gizmo? Now that's not very polite, Izzard. This mechanical gizmo is much more precise than the iris clock. And unaffected by the black fog. Right, Tyon? Huh? Uh, right. There should be an exit through the southern water vein. Head straight for that. And you, ma'am? We'll hold the line here. Keep them occupied. I keep forgetting. Circle the right stick. Begging your pardon, that's idiocy and certain death. Tie on. You can't. You all still have a future. Until the day of your homecoming, Please, just live! And here. I... I couldn't. I won't. Don't do this, ma'am. Listen. I need you to live, Tyon. You must. Flee for the colony. Tyon, get moving! Hurry! How... how can I? Tyon! Mom! Mom! Nip away! Shouldn't have put so much stock in your irises, Kay. That is what you get. It's just bad luck. The plan was sound. If not for the black fog. It's all about the skin feel. You've only got eyes up front. That's why Kay lost. Sounds, the air, breathing. When you can feel all that, you don't need the iris. And for all that, you still flunk back, tail between legs. Are you forgetting that fact? <laughs> He's awful forgetful, isn't he? <laughs> so? I'm still breathing, and I... I had a ball with them kids, right until I had to scarper. Excuses a ten a penny. What are you implying? Excuse
excuse me. Is this a private party or can I interject? I was thinking I might head out alone next. Is that allowed? You want to see with your own iris, eh? Pretty much. Plus, there's Izzard in Colony Lambda, right? It'll be an extremely amusing situation, don't you think? Yeah, we'll have fun, I'm sure. Good is the mornings. Morning, Mina. Okay, everyone's here. Got word from Ethel a little while ago. There's something she wants to tell us. We should go to the council room and hear, hear it. Very well. Just say thanks for this time, Ali. Okay, let's see what Ethel has to say then. You lost sleep, all right? Yeah, like a log. Thanks for the room. You cleaned it out just for us. Uh, don't sweat it. Just a token from us higher-ups. My iris is clocked. I couldn't quite believe it. So I went outside and hunted down a hox as a test. And? Didn't get snuffle. The flame clock didn't show, and neither did any moats. Looks like it's real. Yeah. We were baffled too, at first. Anyway, we're all thankful to you. Flame clocks don't work so good when you're dirt. Hated having to worry about when my number might be up. Wait, dirt? I thought Ethel's rank was silver. It was when she saved our hides, wasn't it? Well, snuff happens. Kamaravi. Heard of him? Call him the Smoldering. The greatest warrior in all of Agnes. And a commander loves to spar with the guy. I know him. They say his spear technique is unparalleled. That, and he's an ace for honest pilot. Wow. So Kamaravi and Ethel were rivals. That's right. We fought against him who knows how many times now. Took our share of damage, but then so did they. At one time, one of his Pharonis' knee joints blew clean out. Most likely it was a failure of maintenance. The commander could have ended it then and there. But no. Telling other people's tales again? Not very endearing. Cut it out. C commander! Uh, apologies, ma'am. <laughs> I'm joking. Ethel? It became a tremendous scandal. 
The castle stripped our colony of our silver rank, demoting us to dirt. <sighs> but look. They were made the lowest of the low, and still they chose to stick by me, even though it meant having to live day to day. That is why I must prevail over him. Huh? But you're... Free from the yoke of the flame clock, yes, certainly. However, this is another matter. What is it about then? Hunger, pride, desire, joy maybe. It's a little hard to put it to words, but something along those lines. I haven't all the time in the world, and my troops understand this full well. For me, well, all of us, really. A rematch with Kamaravi is everything. And that will give purpose to the remainder of our lives. A purpose to life. Right, okay. On an emotional level, I could understand. Wow, really? I didn't say I agreed. I just see her point of view, that's all. <sighs> all right now, let's put a pin in the philosophizing. When we talked last night, you said your destination was Sword March, as I recall. Right. Come along. Ah, finally. We get NPCs that move. That are important. I wish to move faster. This right here is Sword March. Well, that part is common knowledge, I suppose. To get there, you have a few possible routes. Mainly the northern and the southern. And then, the direct route cutting through the ocean vortex. You don't say. That works. Nobody's done it before. Such at ease. You can try to approach it from sea or from air. But as soon as you're close to it, you'll end up being ripped to shreds. Trust me, it's not just the waves and the wind. We believe there's some other force at play there. And so, through elimination then, these two. And quite frankly, I wouldn't advise going north. Why is that? The road's dangerous and it runs right past Agnes Castle territory. You'd have a hard time getting through. Tyon, turns out you were right. As always. Additionally, you are Ouroboros. If you face another colony, you may find the same thing happening as did with us. I'd feel safe betting on it. If you go south, the battle lines are relatively fixed. If you can proceed along this route, you'll get there in about two months. Two months. <sighs> but... But? There's more? Even if you reach the sword, this... city, yes? It's hard to believe you would find it there. It seems far-fetched. How so? Once, we had to advance across this region ourselves. It was empty. Nothing but the sword piercing the landscape. And then, there's that word you mentioned, city. What could that possibly mean? Is it a person? Or a thing? When Guernica talked about it, it sounded kind of like a colony? Uh, I was pretty sure it was an object. Will you still go there, regardless? Yeah. That was the idea. For a chance to live on. Then there's no more to say. Boliaris. Mom? 
Our guests will be leaving soon. Let's give them any assistance we can. No worries. Feel free to use the facilities here at your leisure. Get ready for what's ahead. Mimi, relax. We're just doing what Ethel said. Just using the facilities at our leisure. You have to eat, else you won't grow. It's just... Don't let them get to you. Yeah? Aww. Hey. What is this? It used to belong to my friend. He always wore it till last year. <gasps> yes, he died fighting against Colony Psy. You animals killed him, shot him right here, clean through. You're wrong. We're actually from Colony Gamp. Mimi, what? If that's what you want. Go ahead and shoot. It's not like I'm a hard target. Now we're talking. Oh, what? You're nearly done anyway. Well, then keep your lousy embers. Die today or in three months' time. Not much difference. <sighs> ah, just mind you don't get poisoned before your time's up. What a jerk. So uncalled for. Senna, it's fine. He was right. We did kill people. Maybe not his friend, but certainly others. We had no choice. If we hadn't have, we'd be goners. We had no choice. Yeah, that was clear until now. But not anymore. Right? Uh huh. There's a chance we can make amends, even if we're misunderstood. Huh? On the house. Eat your fill, friend. Huh? We're dirt rank, remember? Life ain't easy here. But you did help. Besides, you gave us a choice. The choice not to fight. Now, we won't have to take others' lives. I've... I've wished for this. And you made it true. Thanks for that. Okay. So, what now? I believe southward route is currently blocked by rockfall. I would estimate without clearing it will take some time. Guess we'll have to wait till it's done. Uh, guys, can I say something? Uh, sounds heavy. I've been thinking, and I think there might be something else that we could try. You mean about Colony 4? It's probably a responsibility. Tie on. It's not quite like that. I mean, if I see someone in trouble, I just want to help them. Maybe it's not a sense of responsibility, exactly. It's more like a natural reaction. Oh. You feel that? Even for your former enemy? That's how I feel about it. Right now, at least. Mimi. It's big enough for everyone to have a slice. Okay. Well, pretend like the present. Let's do something to help. Yeah, why not? Ever help us out? Way back, after all. Now I've got a chance to give something back, right? I suppose it'll help. Let's earn their trust. We'll kill a bit of time, maybe. I, I think Mimi's right. Guys, thanks. 
Alright. Well, that was horrible to be sure, but what exactly what are we going to do to help exactly? Lance, you need to expend some mental energy on it yourself instead of blurring questions. I get this may be tricky for you. Oi! Watch it, buddy. Well, if we're going to do that, perhaps a little intelligence gathering is in order. Yeah, I guess it's got. Guess we gotta. It's one thing to want to lend a hand, another to know where to stick it. Guess we better ask around the colony then. Still feeling worried about this? No, no, it's just. What? Worried about helping the bad guys? It's a bit late for that, love. Anyway, if anyone tries to start a call again, we'll just pop them under our lens, right? And by we, I mean Lance, obviously. I like to call Ixnay on the punting. It's not too much power. I'm afraid it would get quite messy. Come on, let's just figure a speech, mate. Okay then, everyone, good start. Ask around the colony to find out how we can help. issues. I'll draw up the rotor for guard duty. Let's consider what we know. Into the local monsters. Bad team seems super busy. Can't give out out of queer. So the new supplies. Hero quest. Interesting. Hey, you lot! Got a second! What's up, Boliaris? It's the commander. What's the commander? Well, I haven't seen her for ages. Do you know where she is? Um, I don't think we've seen her. Are you sure? You haven't seen her at all. Think very carefully. She wouldn't hesitate to die for the colony that came down to it. And she's so strong that she'll bear any burden alone, however heavy. Look, if anything would have happened to her, then... 
Colony 4, the, the, we've been... Okay, okay, calm down. Ugh. Sorry. Got carried away. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry about it. Look, if you see her, just tell me, okay? Sorry to have kept you. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Apologies. Okay, we've got one quest complete. Gaggle's menu is north of here. Yeah, yeah, and we better hurry, right? Well then, no time like the present. Here's a over there. Has I won't let any of you die. Never a dull moment, eh? Go!
finish it here. How's this for a plan? Do you think this plan might work? All right. Trying that again. That did not go as well as I thought it would. I'll take point. Come on, who else? About time we got some food in, eh? down for a second. Stay alert and alive.
activation. Conquered. There's a notch on my belt. We're unstoppable with you around, Senna. <laughs> I'm the girl with the gall. Now let's continue. Shall we deal with this? Ethel? Oh, it's you.
What are you doing here? That's what I was. Wait, look over there. Was that a supply drop? Yes, sent from Agnes. How can you tell? We got word that an advanced troop from Agnes had been seen in the area. And if they're in the middle of enemy territory, it has to be due to some kind of operation. The supply drop must be timed for the arrival of a main force. Funnily enough, it's that supply drop we're after. Did you know about the Agnian troops, Tyon? I've known about the presence of Agnian forces in this region for a while. I could never verify that supplies were being dropped, but I won't say I didn't suspect. Oh, yeah? Well, looks like I can verify it now. From the way that you're talking, it sounds as though you're after supplies, too. Well, medical supplies, specifically. We thought Colony 4 might need them. I see. Then it looks as though we happen to have the same goal. Really? Boliaris was looking for you. You didn't actually come alone, did you? <laughs> I actually did. Your understanding of the situation is correct, and I can't risk any more casualties. So you thought you'd go and take care of this yourself? Huh. In that case, we... I said I couldn't afford any more casualties, and that includes you. I appreciate that you're willing, but Colony 4 is my responsibility. We want to work with you, Ethel. Be that as it may. We've already made our minds up. That's why we're here. You might end up having to cross swords with people from your own country. <sighs> Talking about avoiding casualties, you know that includes you too, Ethel, don't you? <laughs> hmm? I yield. I can't very well refuse you now. Don't worry, Ethel. We're not who we used to be. Yeah, we won't drag you down. Then if we're agreed, let's hurry and pick up those supplies. Apologies, and thank you all. Ethel has temporarily joined the party. There are special characters called heroes who can, who can join your party. Those who can travel with you will be, in some cases, only temporarily. Try by your side. Head for the smoke rising from the container. That's our drop point. Okay, that's a drop point. Characters. And now, we have Ethel. So we'll call Ethel, level 17. Close impact, swallowtail, sword cyclone. And... Oh, bleed. We've got some good stuff. Rising from the container. That's our drop point. Oh, we can't play as our. Roger, Dodger. Let's go pick it up before someone else does. Ah, oh, sad. <clears throat> Whoever thought that we would join forces like this? Not me. It's really unexpected for us too, Ethel. Yeah, well, we can fight them. There just would not be much point. Magnian troops. We can avoid them, that would be great, but if we can't, oh well. It's very reassuring to have you with us, Ethel. Huh. I feel very much the same. Soldier husk. Be at rest. Hey, this one means business. Mm. 
Did I read things wrong? Tie on! They'll pay for this! So there must be a fair way around. through here. Wait. Something's not right. Keep your guard up. Hey! Something's not right. Wh what do we do? <gasps> no time to daydream. We have to hurry! <laughs> Ethel! You're right, Noah. We have no time to waste. Let's route those nuisances. Something we can use to our advantage. Oh, we're definitely doing doing Apple. Uh, I can't see the enemy. <laughs> 
Oh, he done inside. Glad that's over. Yeah, just one thing left. Ethel. Huh. What? Take your wounded and get out. Huh. Leave now. Did I do the right thing just now? As a Kvesi commander? There was never a reason for any of us to fight in the first place. You did the right thing, in my opinion. The actions you believe to be correct don't always lead to good outcomes. Some situations aren't salvageable. That's the nature of war. It's beyond anyone's control. Ethel? I'm sorry. What a tedious thing to talk about. We'll recover the supplies and head back to Colony 4. I'm afraid I'll need you all a while longer. Hmm. I really hope we find some medical supplies. Be at rest. Let's open this. Tyon, you take that side. This all right? Hurry back to Colony 4. I bet Boliaris is crawling out of his skin with worry right about now. And with that, next time, on Zabley Chronicles 3, we will head back to Colony 4. Sorry there wasn't much story in this. I just really wanted to get through. Oops, through that monster. Let's see you in